You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, YNR fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got a comings and goings update for you for the CBS soap opera. We're going to dig into a prodigal son's return, a villainess's epic exit, and an ex-husband that stays on the scene. Before we dig in, if you haven't already, please click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. Let's start with an exciting tidbit that always makes me smile when she's back. Beth Maitland returns as Tracy Abbott. She is bringing the Christmas spirit to the Abbott household. No doubt Tracy will be happy to see her brother Jack Abbott and her sister Ashley Abbott on good terms. And it is a Christmas miracle. All the Abbots are getting along because both of them are on good terms with Billy Abbott, even though he just quit to go over to Chancellor Winters. Kyle doesn't seem to be mad too much at anybody. Diane and Ashley are getting along. It is absolutely wonderful. And I do expect to see more of Jill Abbott as well, since she just talked Billy into joining her at CW. And we're going to see more of Jess Walton, so long as she and Mamie Johnson, so long as Jill and Mamie Johnson have this rivalry going on. But usually, Jess doesn't stick around for too long. She lives full time on her ranch in Oregon. So once this whole Mamie Tucker thing resolves, I expect to see Jill leave town again. And next, if you're a big fan of Newman slash Abbott romantic pairings, this next bit of casting news is for you. Recently, Rory Gibson, who plays Noah Newman, posted a photo back on the CBS studio lot. He didn't offer context or additional info, only that he was on the lot. So I'm sure he contractually cannot give away any spoilers, but it definitely points to a return for Noah. And honestly, there's plenty of storyline reasons to bring him back, at least for, you know, a few episodes. After all, his grandma, Nikki Newman, has fallen off the wagon and she likely needs an intervention. So he made this post being on the CBS lot last week. I think it was like December 14th. And if that were his first day of filming, he wouldn't show up until mid-January. If, however, he already is filming and this was just a tidbit, a hint, who knows? Maybe he could drop by for Christmas, but it feels more like a post-Christmas visit just based on the timing of when he posted. And that also begs the question of whether Noah's gal pal, Ali Nguyen, might return. Kelsey Wang has not posted anything on her social media about Allie coming back, but you never know. Maybe Jack Abbott gets a visit from his granddaughter if she returns from Europe with her boyfriend Noah when he's back. And I'm still assuming Noah is back for some sort of family obligation. That's usually when he turns up. But of course, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm also wondering if we're going to have more of Judith Chapman and Greg Rickhart as Gloria Bardwell and Kevin Fisher for the holidays. I mean, it would be kind of bizarre if they brought them back for just those two Thanksgiving episodes. But again, you never know with YNR. Maybe they thought, oh, you know, we're going to bring him back. Maybe it'll bring in some ratings. But in the Christmas photos, CBS Press released kind of a set of Christmas photos and Judith Chapman and Greg Rickhart were not shown, but neither was Michael. I don't think Lauren was shown. She was in a photo with Christine. No, no, no. She was shown because it was her and Michael and Cricket and Danny together looking kind of a double date thing. So we did see Michael in the pictures, but they didn't have all of the rest of, of the cast. So again, I think it's a wait and see thing, but I definitely hope to see more of Glow and Kevin, and I hope they weren't just in and out as a drive-by for Turkey Day. Although, Judith did say she was doing double duty at YNR and Days of Our Lives when it was revealed that she was back to the NBC streaming soap, so I'm hoping we get scenes of them, and for whatever reason, they just didn't include them in the holiday photos they released. We'll, we'll know soon. Plus, we're going to see Cameron Grimes out soon within the next few weeks for maternity leave because the Mariah Copeland actress just gave birth to her first child, a son that they named Bridger Elias Foster, who was born last week on December 13th, and he's a cute little nugget. However, you know, given how rarely that we see Mariah, we might not even notice her absence. I mean, it's unfortunate, but true. We really don't see her and Tessa. We saw them for a minute while their daughter Aria was getting the hearing aids. And then it's like blown out of town off the front burner as usual. Also, 
I I suspect that Colleen Zink could be out pretty soon as Jordan because Jordan's final showdown with Nikki Newman comes this week. According to official spoilers on Monday's episode, it looks like Jordan is creeping around the ranch looking in the windows, but at the same time, Nikki is boozing pretty hard. Maybe she's seeing things, but I tend to think she's actually there messing with her. We'll know more on Tuesday, not on Monday, because on Monday she's just peering in the window. But we do know from official YNR spoilers that by Thursday, Nikki and Jordan are having it out and Jordan pushes Nikki too far. So I imagine by the end of this week, possibly into next, Jordan might be dead as a doornail if Victor gets his way or maybe she'll be locked up tight because she is crazy. But we do also know Haley Aaron is sticking around as Claire Grace, aka Eve Howard. There's lots more to see as Claire is finally confirmed to be Victoria and Cole's daughter, Eve, that they named for his crazy crazy mom. And Claire is now at a psychiatric hospital getting help at long last. So don't look for Claire to go anywhere, even though Crazy Jordan is destined to exit. I will be sad to see Colleen Zink exit whenever she goes because she is absolutely fantastic. Also, J. Eddie Peck is sticking around as Cole Howard for a while. He and Victoria want to get to know their daughter, so he's going to stay, at least for now. And I wonder if they might rekindle their romance. That'd be kind of interesting. All right, that's that is the end of our wine, our comings and goings updates. Definitely subscribe if you haven't yet. And let me know, are you excited to see Noah Newman back? Are you hoping that Allie comes back with him? Do you want to see more of Glow and Kevin around the Christmas tree with Michael and Lauren and Chloe? Wouldn't that be nice? Definitely click subscribe. Be sure to drop your comments about all this casting news. And of course, head back here soon because we are here chatting about Young and the Restless seven days a week. And as always, this is Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 